Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Trailer Trash Tim here. I'm glad you joined me. It is uh, early in the morning. It's about 3.30 in the morning. You know me. I'm a really early riser. And uh, so I'm up trying to get some work done. Pardon me just a minute. I got to get some go-go juice. Something is really on my mind this morning that I want to share with you. Uh, and it has to do with the disparity of a couple of uh, situations that have been uh, in the headlines uh, within the recent year around the world. I did a video last week about Gonzalo Lira. Um, and you can go back and watch that. Uh, a lot of people have, a lot of people have commented on it and I appreciate that. I want to stop and say, I really appreciate all the comments. Uh, I answered as many as I could. I read all that I could. Um, the support that I've been given over the channel is just overwhelming and I, I truly support it, uh, or uh, appreciate the support. That's what I'm trying to say. 3.30 in the morning here in Alabama. Man, I got comments from Ireland, from South Africa, from Scotland, from the UK, Lebanon, Australia, Japan, Canada, uh, all over the place, um, Ukraine, Russia. I really appreciate that. It means a lot to me. And uh, I, I thank all of you for getting involved in the channel and, and helping this thing to grow. Most of you probably know by now the story of Gonzalo Lira. And I got corrected quite a few times by a lot of the commenters about uh, his nationality. Gonzalo um, was not born in Chile. He was born in the United States, but he had Chilean citizenship and, and he was also an American citizen. But he was living in Ukraine by choice. And while in Kharkov in, in Ukraine, he would take to social media and he would share his feelings about the war between Russia and Ukraine. Now, I've made my feelings very clear about that situation. And I'm speaking as an American. I'm in Alabama, in the United States. And I have maintained, uh, and I want to make this clear because there was a lot of confusion. Well, not maybe a lot, but some people were uh, perhaps misunderstanding what I said about this. Or maybe I didn't make myself clear enough. Uh, what I am trying to say is that the American government should mind its own business and not be involved in any foreign conflicts, and that would include the conflict in Ru between Russia and Ukraine. That being said, I know we are involved in the conflict between U Russia and Ukraine. Ultimately, this is a proxy war. Ultimately, this is a war uh, between Russia and the West, and specifically Russian values and Western values. Uh, we are there. The, American, the Americans are there. We shouldn't be, but we are. And I've pointed out that our corrupt and criminal president is, in my mind, undoubtedly hiding something in Ukraine. He undoubtedly has his own interest in Ukraine. Uh, because he obviously has no interest in his own country other than wreaking havoc and mayhem and destruction. Um, it, it's so shallow and so phony because we can't protect our own borders, but we're so concerned in sending billions and billions of dollars to Ukraine for their borders. That makes no sense. So I just wanted to clear that up. Um, we're there. We shouldn't be there, and it's as simple as that. But Gonzalo Lira was in Kharkov living in an apartment, and he would go on social media and speak his mind and give his opinions about what was happening in the war. Now, it's necessary to understand that Ukraine bills itself uh, as a burgeoning democracy, Okay. I have to be careful because of YouTube uh, based, uh, uh, for what I say, because I don't want to get banned. I don't want to get booted. Uh, but let's just say that Gonzalo said a lot of accurate things and that there was a legitimate reason that Putin went into Ukraine. There are some bad players in Ukraine and there are some really bad players in the government the puppet government in Ukraine, that was set up by the United States, no question in my mind. Zelensky is a puppet. Uh, 
That's all he is. He's a useful idiot. So Gonzalo was taking to the airwaves on social media, giving his opinions about what was happening in this burgeoning democracy called Ukraine. And for that, he got arrested uh, at least twice that we know of. Uh, and he was released. He had his laptops confiscated. He had his money stolen. He had his passports confiscated. He was extorted. He was beaten in prison. And that's what happened to him. And now he tried to escape to Hungary to, to gain political asylum. And now we haven't heard from him anymore. At least I haven't. So if your country bills itself as a democracy, that should mean they place a value on free speech. But apparently that's not the case. It's getting to be not the case in America as well. But what they did to Gonzalo is a flagrant violation of free speech and absolutely betrays any principle of democracy, no matter how you feel about democracy. Gonzalo was speaking his mind. I don't have a problem with people speaking their mind, even if I disagree with them. They can talk. I'll listen. I'm not going to throw you in prison because you say something I don't, disagree, I don't agree with. But this is a blossoming problem all around the world of people who want to speak their minds but are suppressed by their own government. This has happened in America with a man by the name of Edward Snowden. Edward Snowden worked in the American government, and he uh, realized several years ago that the American government was actually spying on its own citizens. And he outed, it. He outed this. He made this known. And it got so bad for him that he had to flee the country, you know, where we have a First Amendment where you can speak your mind. And now he's having to live in Russia because of that. Julian Assange is another political prisoner being held apparently now, as far as I know, in the UK for exposing corruption in the government. Okay? Same as Gonzalo. Now let's flip the coin and talk about a lady named Brittany Griner. You know who Brittany Griner is? Brittany Griner is a, a woman, you never know anymore, but I believe she's a woman who dribbles a ball. Brittany Griner is an American woman who uh, was a, a star in the WBNA, the Women's Basketball League or whatever. I never watch it, don't know anything about it, don't care about it, don't really care about Brittany Griner, but the fact of the matter is Brittany Griner went to Russia and upon trying to enter Russia, she was found to have marijuana. She had some pot on her, and that was illegal. No matter how you feel about the law, it was illegal. And I can tell you this, you don't want to go to any country. You don't want to do any international travel. Come on, with pot on your person. Brittany tries to get into Russia while carrying pot, and for that, she got arrested. Well, hello, of course you're going to get arrested. And she got convicted, and she got thrown in jail. No matter how you feel about that, that was the law, and because of that, what happened to her was legitimate. She wasn't a political prisoner. She wasn't just over in Russia speaking out her mind about the Putin government or anything else. Brit, the Brittany Griner situation was not a Gonzalo Lira situation. It was not a Snowden or Assange situation. This was a reckless basketball player who broke the law, who broke the Russian law. And for that, she got arrested and convicted. That's the law. You know, if I travel to any other nation, it probably is a good idea for me to find out what the local laws and ordinances is so that while I'm there, I won't break them because, 
You know, I don't want to be in a jail in America, but the last thing I want to have happen to me is go to a foreign country and be incarcerated there. Double the problems, right? Well, where is Brittany Griner today? I'll tell you where Brittany Griner is. She's not where Gonzalo is, and she's not where Assange is, and she's not where Snowden is. Brittany Griner today has been brought back to America because the corrupt, evil, reckless, feckless Biden administration got her out of Russia. She was and is an American citizen, and while she broke the law, People like Biden and Kamala Harris, cackling Cammy, came to her defense and just called what happened an outrage. And they got her out. They didn't lift a damn finger for Snowden or Assange. They haven't lifted a finger for Lyra, who is an American citizen, as is Snowden. But they can get no help from their government. None. It is an outrage, an absolute outrage. Now, there's some other things about Brittany Griner that just have to be mentioned. Brittany Griner, uh, you know, we live in, in America anyway, and probably most of the world, I guess. We live in this woke society, and the more woke you are, apparently the more cool you are, or the more socially acceptable she should you should be. Brittany Griner is a lesbian basketball player. And she was greeted upon her arrival back to America by her husband. I'm going to lay this on the line right now, and I'm going to lose some people because of this, but I don't care. But I am a traditionalist. I believe a man should be a man and a woman should be a woman. And I believe that marriage is between a man and a woman, a male and a female. It's as simple as that. Sorry, folks, but that's... Well, I'm not sorry. That's how I feel. That's what I believe. And because Brittany Griner uh, maintains a woke lifestyle, immediately the Biden administration rushed to her defense because they put people who are woke on a pedestal. Those are our near heroes. So Brittany Griner was returned to America. Putin probably said, fine, take her. I sure would. Get her out of my country. So this basketball hero is back. Even though she broke the law, Gonzalo Lira did not break a law, and we don't know where he is. Edward Snowden, in my mind, is an American hero, but he's having to live in Russia because his country wants him to rot in prison in America. Brittany Griner is no hero. Gonzalo Lira, I would say, it is a man who is a hero to me. He's a brave man who did something I wouldn't have done. I wouldn't be living in Ukraine speaking about against the Ukrainian government, but he did. And now he's paying for it, apparently. I hope not. Pray, and I mean this. This is an Orthodox Christian talking to you, and I'm asking you to pray for Gonzalo Lira. Pray for Edward Snowden. Pray for Julian Assange. Pray for our world, folks. We need it. Going forward, we have got to find our voice not just as Americans, and I speak as an American, but I've got people watching me all over the world, and folks, we have got to find our voice. We have got to let it be known to the powers that be around the world, enough of this nonsense. Enough of this. I hope you all are well. I hope you have a great Tuesday. Thank you so much for joining me. A couple of, of uh, housekeeping notes. I now have a link to a thing called Buy Me a Coffee. If my content is valuable to you at all, if you appreciate it and uh, you'd like to show your appreciation, you can link below to Buy Me a Coffee and go there. Buy me a cup of coffee. Let me tell you, I love coffee. No question about that. I drink at least a pot a day, sometimes two. Hey, put your comments down below. I would love to hear what you think about 
Gonzalo situation, Brittany Griner, Edward Snowden, Assange, Biden, the whole corrupt cabal that's running America right now. Give me a big thumbs up on this video. If you will, I would appreciate it. If you would subscribe to the channel, if you haven't, I would really appreciate that as well. Let's get that algorithm going. Everybody have a fantastic Tuesday and I will see you again tomorrow. Trailer Trash Tim over and out.